Hey guys, welcome back on the channel. I hope you are all doing uh, very well. Um, so it's been a while since I've posted any video. Uh, the reason why is uh, mostly because I was waiting for prepared version 4 and uh, there it is. PMDG have also released uh, the 747 for P3D version 4. So this is what you're seeing right now along with um, flight beam KSFO HD and uh, so today the aim of the, this recording will be to show you my settings in P3D version 4 and tell you how to uh, make it run smooth as I'm doing right now um, there's one uh, big trick I, I would say that I'm going to show you today and um, yeah, and also just a little tweak I made to the config file. Other than that, uh, you really shouldn't need anything uh, because this is very well optimized. And of course, it is 64-bit, so you can now uh, <laughs> uh, play with the highest resolution textures without any uh, worry uh, to um, run out of memory. Alright guys, so I'll first start with my settings. Let's jump uh, jump right into that. Alright guys, so here are my settings. The first thing you should notice is that I run a 4K resolution monitor. So my AA settings won't be as um, won't be and uh, won't need to be as high as some of you guys. So I run four times MSAA. Uh, for now, if any of you have better recommendation, of course, do not hesitate. Um, textures, ultra, no worries for um, vast problems anymore. So I just run that at ultra, 16 times uh, texture filtering with FXAA on. And VSync, this is where things get really important and you will understand why. Uh, you, if you want smooth results, uh, just like I get, you run it on VSync VC on with triple buffering, unlimited uh, target frame rate. This is quite important. If we go down to uh, the world options, now this is where uh, things will change in the next few days and weeks. For now, here uh, it is. So level of detail is at ultra you can try max this is uh, this is I mean ultra is already uh, amazing uh, but uh, this is what I'm running with at the moment uh, to get a very smooth experience so level of detail radius ultra tessellation fac factor is at high mesh 2 meters and texture resolution 30 centimeters then scenery complexity very dense very high very dense very dense so this is quite um, the same as version 3 what really changes in version 4 is the level uh, the level of detail sorry uh, the, the radius uh, obviously now is incredible and I'll show you that later water detail uh, is on high for now special effects medium medium I wouldn't advise to go high on uh, special effects. I don't see quite a big uh, change, but it can affect your frame rates uh, quite heavily. And I have dynamic 3D autogen uh, vegetation uh, checked. So if we go down to lighting, um, I'm running the brand new Ultimate uh, Realism Pack, um, which comes with an auto installer and these are the recommended settings actually it's 80 here if I can set that and one here just like that uh, so these are the settings I recommend if ever there I'm gonna leave a link to um, URP uh, which is ultimate realism pack in the description down below of course running dynamic lighting this is the big new feature with p3d version 4 it's absolutely fantastic so but it can eat a bit a bit of fps so you'll have to bear that in mind lens flare i have unchecked uh, landing lights of course i do have checked shadow quality is on high shadow draw distance is on low for the moment but i might bring that up casting and receiving i'm not quite sure 
what are the impacts as of now. Uh, so I've uh, just le left that to default. Draw distance for clouds are um, is at 90 miles and cloud coverage density is maximum. Um, of course, this is quite important. All right, guys, so here comes uh, the important part. If you want it, uh, if you want your sim to run as smooth as mine. So what I actually do uh, to, to, to have a very smooth experience is uh, download HRC. Um, there's going to be a link in the description down below. If you open HRC, uh, which is already done for me right here. If you open that, as you can see, um, it's a very useful tool which will permit you to actually keybind different monitor settings. So as you can see right now, I'm running 30 hertz and um, my keybind is alt with the asterisk. And I can run it at 60 hertz and the keybind is alt with the um, crossbar. And what 30 hertz actually do or actually does, I should say, is uh, when the monitor runs at 30 hertz and when in the game you have VSync on uh, with unlimited frame rates, um, the game will um, stay at a steady 30 FPS, of course, if you can sustain at least 30 FPS. But the biggest cause for stutter is when your monitor is running at 60 hertz or 120 hertz depending on what kind of monitor you have and your game fps oscillates between you know 35 42 57 this is what causes the big stutter and uh, a seemingly unpleasant experience so the only thing you have to do uh, first of all is make sure you can sustain at least 30 fps in game to do that to do so um, play with your settings of course and then uh, download HRC again the link will be in the description down below and uh, providing that your monitor can actually run safely at 30 Hertz um, you know just select a keybind the only thing you got to do here is you know you can select 60 30 29 so you have two options uh, so you can quickly switch between both um, so this one is 60, this one is 30, and the only thing I have to do is, uh, you know, uh, here you can change your keybind, and uh, when I press Alt and uh, the crossbar or the dash bar, uh, it brings me back to 60 hertz, and when I know I'm going to be flying, I uh, press Alt and the asterisk, and it brings me to 30 hertz to have a very smooth uh, flying experience. This is crucial. Um, I really hope uh, this will help. Of course, if you're running a 1080p monitor, this works as well. Uh, the main feature here is the 30 hertz. The resolution doesn't really matter. Uh, the only thing you, you have to bear in mind is the 30 hertz uh, refresh rate. That's quite uh, crucial. All right, guys. So what I would like to show you now is the tool I've been talking about ultimate realism pack and now as I uh, previously mentioned it comes with its own installer so for example if I go um, into shaders I can now um, apply shaders directly into the sim and it even gives you uh, you know the uh, recommended HDR uh, settings same thing for the suns. So I selected uh, sun mode um, mud number three, and you just apply the mode, the mud, sorry, and it does it for you. Same thing for the sky. So uh, this is a very handy tool. Uh, you don't need PTA anymore, and um, and yeah. So I'm I'm pretty sure PTA version four will do a bit more. So the payware version that is coming from Matt Davies, Davis, Davies, I'm not sure. Um, sorry about that. Um, but this is a very nice start uh, while we wait for PTA version 4. And again, uh, the link is going to be in the description down below. All right, guys. So the only tweak I'm actually using in P3D version 4 is 
once again affinity mask oh sorry about that i'm running um i7 4790k and i choose to run 116 affinity mask this uh, does the best job for me uh, you can also try 85 this has been proven to work quite well but uh, 116 um, is uh, the winner for myself so if you have a uh, quad core processor with hyper threading um, activated of course i definitely recommend uh, trying out at least 116 again this is not um, I, I cannot guarantee that it's gonna work flawlessly for you but for me uh, it does an amazing job and it uh, it provides for a smoother uh, cpu performance um, overall all right guys so that is uh, that is it for the settings and tweaks all right guys so with that said i hope this is going to help you have the smoothest p3d version 4 experience as possible and uh, just as some closing shots uh, just take a look at this insane insane level of detail radius this is absolutely incredible you would never see that in version 3 or lower um, this is this is wonderful this is this is what we've we've been waiting for um, and I, I say that with uh, with uh, like a hundred percent confidence this is outstanding and prepared and Lockheed Martin have done an amazing job you can even see it in the distance at downtown San Francisco this is truly like this is perfect 64-bit um, means you won't have any problem with VAS you can fly uh, as much legs as you want uh, at least for now <laughs> we're gonna see where future add-ons are gonna push the sim but it's we are definitely entering a new era and uh, I hope I hope to be part of it I hope you will like this settings video and I hope this uh, will help you out quite nicely alright guys so with that said I wish you a very good day uh, take care have a good one